was at 116. That's crazy. Of course.
pipes that's been put together, but there's actually quite a bit of engineering that's gone into this. Remember, this is not a boat. We need it to not just sit on the surface, but to get down to the bottom and to get itself back up. So the key is balance. These aluminum pipes, they had to be just right. Too light, and the sharks would just come in and crush it and it would be hopeless. Too heavy, and well, it would go straight to the bottom because the whole thing has to be propelled by these. Now, these are carbon fiber electric state-of-the-art motors that generate about 270 newtons of force lasting for about three hours and it can take this uh, vessel down to about 200 meters. It's also got this, my favorite feature, this nice big turret opening at the top. And it actually serves two purposes. Not only is it a nice space to allow a cameraman to pop out and get clean images of sharks that have possibly never been seen before, but it also has a little bit of protection. So if a shark comes in from this side and you're facing this way, it's gonna hit this lid first and it should be enough just to make it turn or give the diver a chance to duck back down into the relative safety of this tiny little metal cocoon. Now one aspect of this that I'm really struggling to get my head around is that, well scuba diving is 